Hey, what's up, Dixie T here, and I'm going to talk a little about uh, Sheamus, the, his run, uh, his WWE title run. And I'm going to get, this is my personal opinion. If you, you know, disagree, uh, comment, video response, um, and such like that, PM me, what have you. But anyway, I just don't see how this guy is a, a champion at this point. Do, do you honestly see him as a threat? Do, does anyone here see him as a threat? And I, I just don't see it. I don't really see it. Um, this, uh, there is a term I want to... I was actually looking at WrestleCraft forums, um, you know, if you want to see me on Duke CT on that forum as well. You know, I was um, looking at the... Uh, basically, just looking at the, you know, one of the forums talking about Sheamus, and base, uh, he says, like, it's, uh, he, he came up with a term called implied ability. And what he was saying is that, uh, this person said that he, we have been told that this person, Sheamus, is like this huge, like, badass, this Celtic warrior who can beat the crap out of you and this, that, and the other. But we haven't seen it. We don't see it. We keep hearing about it. We keep hearing how dominant this person is, but we don't see it. And he says that's one of the main reasons why Sheamus is where he is, that people just don't buy him as a real champion, is because he's, it's just an implied ability. We hear him being champion. We, we hear him being a badass. We hear it every, every second he... You know, every five seconds he's on um, Monday Night Raw. But <laughs> you don't see it. You don't see him. You don't see it in his actions. Another thing is that, seeing if he's booking a Raw, he's not even on the show. La I mean, well, I didn't watch Raw last week. Uh, I just saw some stuff and I watched the reviews and such. And they basically said the same thing. Sheamus is only off for like one or two minutes. How the hell? I mean, he's your world champion. He should be on the main thing. He is your flagship guy. He is your person that you watch every second of the day. He should be the main person, the main thing. The championship should be the main thing on your show. Especially if this is your flagship show. Your champion, your heavyweight champion should be on the forefront. And, 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 and WWE, Monday Night Raw, that's the thing I can't stand. Is that they basically made Sheamus a complete afterthought. They made Sheamus the fourth wheel. You know what the first wheel is? The guest host. The second wheel is Shawn Michaels and Triple H. The third wheel is... Um, the Bret Hart, um, Vince McMahon storyline. And the fourth wheel is a Sheamus. That should not happen. The person you hold that belt, that belt should be the single most important thing you hold. That's the most important thing you have. It's the most important thing in this uh, thing, right? It's the most important belt. Even though it looks like a effing toy, it should be the most important championship the championship should be the most important thing, the main focus. Because once you win that, he should be, you know, it is something him. I mean, he sh that should he should be the main focus. And, and, and basically, honestly, I would. I mean, why is everyone heel these days? That's to be the chicken cra uh, chicken ass heel. I mean, what happened to someone like being like Vader? He'll just beat the crap out of you. The like, Jimmy just beat the living heck out of you. And just do it for, like, just beat the crap and be like that big old bully or anything else. Sheamus is not being booked. I mean, honestly, I would not, I would like to see Sheamus be built in that mode. I think he has the same type of body structure to be someone like a Vader, who just so, or, or Lesnar, or someone like that, or Goldberg, who just piles through you and destroys you and be, and, and be like, like, yeah, I'm awesome. I can only, I can, I can only take what you can get. But I ain't going to actually put you out. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to put you out. That's how Sheamus, and that's how I would like to see some big Monster Hills act like that. That's what I want to see. 
But then again, that's just my ranting and raving and everything else. Um, <laughs> oh, anyway, anyway, speaking of uh, me ranting, I'm going to be doing a, a special blog TV um, tomorrow, probably like at 1 o'clock. So hopefully y'all can join join me and you know have a little conversation because y'all going to be here. Because I'm not going to be going anywhere. No, nah, because I'm going to be snowed in. Uh, and also, uh, don't forget the Duke CT Lounge is on tonight, um, 10 o'clock to 11. Hopefully y'all can uh, come in um, and talk about the, the direction, what TNA's direction. Do you like it or do you dislike it? Hopefully you can um, uh, tune in and actually uh, listen and give my uh, thoughts and opinions about that. Because I couldn't make a video about that. But I, I wanted to make a, 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 a my radio show about it. So anyway, Dixie T here. Peace and love. I will see y'all when I see y'all. One.